Hey guys, welcome back. Now you'll remember in the last lesson, we created and modified some phasing for our project, based upon the existing phase and the house addition that we're going to add. Now I want to talk about phase filters and phase override settings, and how they'll impact your model. Well, what we have right now is actually pretty perfect for a construction model, because apart from the measurements, it's clear what's new construction and what belongs to a previous phase. The new construction is darker and it has more detail, whereas the old construction is grayed out and generally less visible. And remember, at the bottom of the viewing pane, you can actually adjust the detail settings. You have coarse, medium, and fine. Now, coarse and medium, if you don't adjust any of the settings, are pretty much the same. Fine, though, even by default, has considerably more detail than the other two. But let's move on now and show you actually how to adjust the line settings for your project in different phases. If you go to Manage and then click on Phases, and click on Phase Filters, you'll see a number of categories, including New, Existing, Demolished, and Temporary. So we'll get into all of these later, but if you look down at Show Complete, you can see that New and Existing are filtered by category, while Demolished and Temporary are not displayed at all. You'll also see another choice further down, overridden. So basically you have three options when it comes to filtering your phases. By category, overridden, and not displayed. By category and overridden are the two major settings that you'll need to pay attention to. Now if you choose overridden, it will follow your graphic overrides that you can see in the third tab. So for a practical understanding of what that means, anything that exists in this phase will be displayed by category while anything new that is put in this phase will follow the parameters that are set for the graphic overrides. But that might leave one more question, and that is, what does by category mean? Well, when you display things by category, that means they'll follow the basic visual graphic settings. So that means that this addition that we built is displayed by category. It's not overridden, which you can see if we change the phase filter to show complete. This allows you to see every aspect of your model. So if we click on one of the walls of the house, you can see that it's under the existing phase, while the walls of the addition, given that they were created in the new phase and that we have the new phase set to by category, will all display by category, following the established visibility graphic settings. You can see here that there are no overrides. Everything associated with this wall is following the default. If you want to change the visibility graphic settings, say make your existing wall a gray tone while your new walls are white, then we can do that by going into our phases and going to phase filters, and you can see here that our new is by category, but we're going to want to make the existing overridden. When we hit apply, then that'll gray out the existing walls, and the reason for that is under the phase graphic overrides, existing phases are grayed out. And actually what this says is our projection lines and our cut lines are gray, while our patterns are hidden. So what that means is that the patterns that you saw before are actually cleared by the overrides. If we make them visible though, and hit apply, hmm, it should be showing up. Let me make sure the fine setting is on. Our pattern should be showing up. Hmm. Phases can be very tricky things. It may be that our wall has taken on another material or another phase. I tell you what though, I can definitely demonstrate this with cut lines. So I'll go in and change my cut lines from gray to red. And when I hit apply, you can see now that the lines are red. Meanwhile, the addition that we built follows the phase filters and isn't overridden. So this might seem pretty advanced. And I'm not going to lie to you, phasing is a fairly complicated concept for Revit. But I would encourage you to go back through this video or even all the phasing lessons a couple of times, because it's important. It's here that you start working in the third and fourth dimensional aspects of Revit. And it can get even more complicated if you have a demolished and a temporary layer. Which that raises another question, how do you demolish a wall in Revit? Well, you might have to break it up with the split tool. I really like to use split with gap for stuff like this. So let me go ahead and make two marks in this wall, and now I'm going to go ahead and change it. I'm going to set its phase demolished under phasing to house addition, 
Now, you'll notice that my wall disappears when I do that. Now, it might seem weird, but it's actually normal. And the reason for that is if we go into our phases, and if we then look at phase filters, you'll see that demolished is not displayed. For now, though, I'm going to set it to overridden, so I can go back into the floor plan and modify those settings. Another thing you might ask is, with this wall, how did I get it to show dashed so that it looks like it's demolished? Well, remember, my phase filter for this view is show complete. And if we go back into our phases window, you can see that demolished uses a dotted line. But remember, that's because we set it to overridden. If we return it to not displayed, then it won't show up at all. So be aware of this as you work, because it'll impact what you want to do. So when I set it back to not displayed, you can see that the wall isn't there at all, just as though it were being taken out. But now if we go back into our first floor plan, you can see that everything is there. The split has been added, but the wall is intact. And again, this is because these two views are just separate views of the same floor plan. First floor plan existing is under the phase existing, while the new addition is under that second phase with its own view templates. And the reason for that is obviously because things change over time. So for instance, the demolished wall doesn't appear because it was set to be demolished in this phase, whereas the new additions are to be added in this phase. Okay, so that's a general overview of phase filters and phase overrides. Now I know this might seem very complex, and it is, but this is also one of the most important things that you're going to have to deal with when you're setting up a new project. For instance, you might be dealing with an interior tenant build-out, or an interior project itself. And in a situation like that, you would already have existing construction and your job would be to go in, take measurements, but then design everything around the existing parameters. And that will include demolition, and that will include new additions. All the things that we talked about in this lesson. And phasing is what helps you tell the difference between what was existing and your new construction. Alright, that does it for this video. Head on to the next lesson where we'll talk more about phasing modifications.